I'm going to um, speak about uh, TAMI, the Technology Arbitration and Mediation Institute that is uh, uh, founded uh, in Eindhoven. Um, and um, I'm a board member of, uh, of that institute. Um, in this presentation, I will uh, start with a short uh, introduction. Um, then I will um, uh, explain about TAMI, why uh, choose for TAMI, um, how you can involve TAMI in, uh, in disputes, and I will finish with um, uh, how to become an arbitrator, because we are looking for arbitrators. Um, first of all, my name is Jos van der Weist. Uh, I'm an IP lawyer at uh, BG Legal. Uh, I litigate uh, about um, um, technology-related uh, discussions, disputes. Um, at my firm, we have 19 attorneys. Uh, we're located in Eindhoven at the Brainport Industries campus, the factory of the future. Uh, and as I mentioned, I'm a board member of the Technology Arbitration and Mediation uh, Institute. Um, for IP lawyers, and sometimes also for our clients, um, the big frustration is uh, as follows. Um, uh, we heard in the, uh, uh, in the earlier presentations about um, uh, open innovation, uh, co-development of new uh, technology, of new uh, know-how, uh, collaboration and in innovation, and um, uh, that can create a new IP, and uh, that IP can be uh, um, exploited, uh, license agreements. Uh, well, you heard uh, from in the former the earlier presentations about these issues. Um, and in the process of uh, uh, developing new technology, developing, for instance, a new machine, um, um, parties have to work together. And um, in that process, uh, that can uh, that can result in uh, in discussions. I'm not even uh, talking about disputes, but uh, discussions. For instance, about uh, the performance of a party. Uh, when parties have uh, formed a, a consortium, and um, in that consortium, uh, a new technology, a new product uh, has to be uh, uh, designed and uh, developed. Um, so it's not something that is on the shelf, but it has to be uh, designed and developed uh, for this consortium. Then um, um, uh, parties are um, uh, have to are dependent from uh, the performance uh, of other parties, and sometimes uh, that leads to questions like: um, uh, Does the product uh, that uh, another party has developed uh, met uh, meet the specs? Uh, yes or no, or um, uh, a party has uh, presented uh, a product um, and uh, the question is, uh, well, is this what we uh, could expect or um, uh, could we expect more? Uh, so does the other party has to uh, do the work again or is this uh, the result and we have to do, uh, we have to uh, accept this result? So that's, that can um, result in discussions. And um, as a lawyer, um, or from a legal point of view, uh, discussions uh, can uh, uh, end up in disputes, not always. Um, and um, uh, in the contracts, uh, sometimes there are, um, uh, uh, well, they, they give uh, some kind of uh, procedure how to prevent discussions to become disputes. Um, and if uh, there is disputes, how disputes are resolved. Um, but in most of the contracts, um, the dispute resolution is uh, by a, a civil court. Um, uh, so the question uh, is when there is a discussion on, or when there is a dispute, who is going to decide uh, in that dispute? And in a lot of cases, as I mentioned, uh, parties choose for um, civil proceedings, civil uh, 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 courts, uh, like uh, the guy uh, in the picture. Um, and um, uh, that is a well-trained legal professional. Uh, he's trained to apply the law, uh, but he has no technical experience or background in most of the cases. Uh, he speaks a different language, 
um, he is a legal professional, uh, not a technical uh, professional. And uh, in a lot of cases that results in questions that a judge cannot answer. And because of that, he needs to involve an expert from uh, the specific field of expertise for questions uh, because he has questions regarding the technology, regarding the performance, regarding is this a technical default or not. So that are technical questions uh, that cannot be answered by a legal professional, by a judge, and therefore he has to involve an expert in, this, uh, in these proceedings. And the consequence is that that will take a lot of time um, and um, a lot of time for the judge to come with a judgment because he has to wait for uh, the report of the expert um, that answers the questions of the of the court. And um, that also costs a lot of not only time, but also money before parties get uh, the decision. And um, and of course, uh, these kind of proceedings are public. Uh, everyone can uh, can uh, go to court hearings uh, to uh, listen to what uh, the dispute is all about. Uh, the newspapers uh, um, know about the uh, the, uh, the dispute, and um, uh, it will uh, often uh, uh, result in a troubled relation between the parties uh, that have the dispute. So these are all um, reasons for not only uh, uh, IP lawyers, lawyers that work for um, technology uh, uh, related uh, companies, but also uh, for the parties themselves. They find it uh, very uh, uh, frustrating uh, and uh, not because of this guy as a judge, but because of this kind of uh, proceedings. And um, uh, so they are looking for an alternative. And uh, that alternative is the Technology Arbitration and Mediation Institute, TAMI. Um, it is an independent uh, foundation, so it's not uh, a sister company from uh, brain Brainport Tech Law, although we have a very warm relationship with brain Brainport Tech Law, um, but it is an independent uh, foundation for arbitration, mediation, and alternative dispute resolution. So it's not only arbitration, uh, where someone has to decide yes or no, um, this is uh, conform specs or this is not conform specs, uh, but it's also mediation. Um, and mediation uh, is a way of um, helping parties to find a resolution themsel themselves. Um, it is specifically for technology related disputes, and we have uh, a very broad definition of technology. Um, uh, for instance, um, uh, disputes about um, um, some food related uh, technologies are also included, uh, software, um, uh, all kind of technology related disputes. Um, it's an alternative for civil courts and also for the general uh, uh, ADRs. Um, it's located in Eindhoven and uh, the proceedings are a combination of online and offline. Um, the proceedings are um, uh, set up in cooperation with the parties that uh, have come to TAMI with a dispute. Um, and uh, the, the proceedings we have uh, have a large opportunity for parties to um, influence the proceedings, like um, the, the, the time frame of proceedings. Uh, the, the number of uh, of arbitrators, uh, is it online or is it offline? So parties have a great influence on how the proceedings, uh, how they work. Um, and one of the most important um, um, uh, aspects of TAMI is that we appoint an expert as an arbitrator, not uh, the legal trained person, uh, but uh, someone who is expert in uh, that specific field of, uh, of technology uh, that is uh, the subject of the, the discussion, the subject of the, uh, the dispute. So the expert is the arbitrator. 
And next to the arbitrator, we have uh, a legal, legally trained professional to support the arbitrator. But the arbitrator is uh, an expert of that kind, that specific field of uh, of technology. Uh, this means that uh, the arbitrator, the expert, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to have a legal or arbitration uh, experience. It's um, uh, is a benefit, but it's not uh, it's not necessary. What uh, what will we do when we uh, have an application for uh, for a dispute? Um, then we are going to uh, look at the field of expertise that is um, that is uh, that is uh, 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 in this dispute uh, uh, relevant, and then we are going to uh, f look for experts in that particular field. Sometimes parties uh, have uh, their own ideas about uh, an expert, um, uh, but um, uh, if they don't have uh, their own uh, suggestions, then we are going to look for experts in that specific uh, specific uh, field of uh, of technology. And um, then we can uh, uh, end up or we can find um, in companies, in uh, universities, in um, well, uh, institutions, these experts. Uh, for instance, uh, um, branch organizations can um, can uh, advise someone uh, who they know. Well, that's a well-known expert in our branch, uh, and that could be a very good uh, arbitrator. Good in the sense of he knows uh, the uh, this kind of uh, this kind of technology. Um, another aspect of uh, TAMI is that we have very uh, short uh, time frames that, uh, and the costs are reasonable. Um, so why would you involve TAMI in, in disputes? Um, uh, and I find a quote uh, about uh, pre-dispute and pre-escalation uh, process. Uh, it is usually it usually costs less to avoid getting into trouble than to pay for getting out of trouble. Um, uh, that's why we uh, also invest in uh, also has the uh, have the opportunity of pre dispute uh, resolution. That means that there is uh, both parties have a discussion, but not necessarily a dispute. And um, uh, they know they have to um, they have to work together uh, in, uh, for instance, uh, a consortium and uh, they uh, but they do have a discussion at the moment and because of that discussion the the process is frustrated the process is blocked and then they need someone to say yes or no yes this is uh, conform what the other party has to uh, to deliver or no it's not um, but they just have to uh, uh, hear an expert who says yes or no and then they can proceed that's uh, what we also offer um, um, as I mentioned, we have experts uh, available as arbitrator and as uh, mediator. The arbitration uh, awards are internationally uh, uh, recognized arbitration awards. And um, uh, based on the New York Arbitration Convention, the uh, arbitration awards are uh, recognized in, uh, in, um, in most of the other countries. So it's a good alternative for uh, civil court uh, proceedings. Um, what kind of disputes um, do we dissolve? Um, for instance, uh, the commercial disputes related to, uh, for instance, uh, supply chain issues with suppliers or customers, disputes regarding the delivered products uh, or services, uh, disputes regarding the quality of the products, uh, the quantity, the characteristics of the products, but also um, uh, supply contract breaches and terminations, um, uh, contract with agents and or disputes with agents and distributors, uh, disputes regarding the packaging and also IP related uh, issues. Um, how can we, uh, what can we offer, what, what kind of form can we uh, uh, resolve the disputes that can be a binding advice, that can be mediation by certified mediators, arbitration or the pre-escalation binding or non-binding advice. Sometimes um, um, parties are also helped uh, by a non-binding advice. Just hearing the advice of an expert uh, 
might be uh, sufficient to help parties to proceed. So not always there has to be a binding advice. Um, how can you involve TAMI? Um, uh, one of the possibilities is to, uh, to have an arbitration clause in a contract. Uh, at the TAMI website, we have uh, examples of uh, arbitration clauses you can use. So you can put it in your contract and uh, when uh, or if uh, there is a, a dispute and you need um, to use um, uh, uh, a mediator or an arbitrator, you can use um, the uh, you can use TAMI because that is what you agreed upon. If TAMI has not, there's no arbitration clause in uh, in a present contract, but there is uh, a dispute, then parties can choose for arbitration or mediation by TAMI. The ad hoc proceedings. Uh, what you uh, what also is possible is when you as a party um, have uh, uh, a dispute with another party, uh, you can ask TAMI to contact the other party and to suggest that the discussion or the dispute is resolved by arbitration or mediation by TAMI. So that's uh, that's another possibility if you don't want as a party don't want to um, suggest this yourself to uh, to the other party um, or to a consortium, then uh, you can ask TAMI and we can contact the other party and suggest that uh, the um, uh, TAMI is involved in an arbitration or the mediation proceedings. At the website of TAMI, you find more information about that. You find the uh, arbitration registration form. Um, uh, that's how to, to submit um, uh, uh, a case, but you can also contact us and ask us to contact other parties to uh, suggest them to uh, to have the dispute resolved by an expert, an arbitrator from uh, from Tami. Um, as I mentioned, on the website you find much more information about uh, as well the uh, the arbitration as the mediation uh, uh, proceedings. We explain how it works. Uh, we explain uh, the, the time it will take to from uh, uh, submitting the um, the uh, uh, the dispute to uh, to a judgment, and we will also also explain about the costs because um, that's another difference uh, between uh, civil courts uh, uh, alternative to, uh, dispute resolution and TAMI. Um, most of the, the 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 civil proceedings, the costs are uh, limited because um, um, you don't get a full compensation of your legal fees. Um, that is different in uh, IP when um, the, the 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 case is about um, uh, infringement, for instance, uh, infringement of IP rights. Then the court can um, can decide that the 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 losing party has to to pay all the uh, the reasonable costs of legal costs, for instance, of the uh, the other party. But in uh, other non-IP related uh, proceedings, uh, the the courts, uh, the legal fees, the, the court costs in the Netherlands are uh, relatively low uh, and they don't cover all the, uh, the costs that are involved. When you go to other um, uh, uh, alternative dis dis uh, uh, dispute resolution institutes, then uh, the, the costs are not um, uh, determined at the front because they depend on the time spent by, for instance, the arbitrators. What have we done? Uh, we work the same way. So the, uh, we have uh, part of the costs are uh, fixed and the other uh, part of the cost, the, uh, the cost of the uh, arbitrator, they are determined by the uh, the, the number of uh, hours spent by the arbitrator. But we set a max, and that's what I highlighted in this uh, in this overview. The cost of the arbitrator are, um, uh, are set on a maximum, so you can um, you can calculate uh, uh, upfront what the maximum cost of the legal proceeding, the proceedings by time, it will be. And that's a great advantage because you. Uh, it's not uh, it's not um, um, a black box. Um, as I mentioned before, we are looking for arbitrators. Are you in a specific field an expert uh, and you are interested in um, 
in uh, becoming an arbitrator, well, you're welcome. On the website, you find a form uh, how to um, uh, uh, contact us and, uh, and let us know that you're interested in becoming an arbitrator. Um, this means that we will put you on a list. Uh, we will mention the, the, the field of technology uh, of your expertise. And then uh, when we have um, a dispute in that field of expertise, then we will contact you and suggest uh, that you will become an arbitrator. Um, with that, I uh, am at the end of my presentation. Um, uh, again, Tami, independent, impartial, uh, competent, uh, fast, cost effective, and uh, and it's confidential because that is uh, uh, also an uh, advantage uh, compared to the, the 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 public court proceedings. Uh, proceedings uh, with Tami are confidential, so no one uh, knows about the proceedings. The dispute is not published, so it's all uh, confidential. Thank you. Uh, and if you have, would like more information, you can uh, ask uh, the, the contact de details are on the website of Tami, but you can also contact uh, me for more information. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>